Welcome to Thriving Tribes. My name is Kuri, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. This week has been extremely challenging. It's the week that I've committed to do a challenge called 75 Hard. And basically what it is, is a program that helps you to recalibrate how you, in fact, recalibrate the discipline and at least puts you in a place where you are mentally strong. Everybody in the world has got an internal critic. And that internal critic puts you in a place of fear. And whenever you are about to accomplish something or trying to do something, they, when the internal critic becomes louder and louder, it puts you into a place of fear and stops you from ever doing anything. So some of you guys have been sexless for a very long time. You've listened to episodes. You've listened. You've read books. You've had counseling you've done every single thing in order to try and change your sexless relationship but your internal critic is extremely loud to the point that you don't even make a move so even the times when i offer you guys free training and when i say free training i mean free training as in not giving you a sales pitch but literally giving you a strategy you're still afraid to actually make a move. And again, I'm not saying you don't have to come to me specifically. There's other coaches out there that will give you uh, something, you know. Anyways, um, that internal critic stops you from actually accomplishing anything because you just operate off a level of fear because that internal critic is really loud. And I'm not immune to it. I'm, I'm like that in some areas of my life. And for me, specifically, it's business. And I was on uh, a call with my coach and my coach would, was trying to tell me about Instagram. He's a, he's a uh, social media growth strategist. So we, he looks at my, he's looked at my social media. He was impressed with the amount of wealth of knowledge that we had and the stuff that we're sharing, which was like really good information. He was happy about that, but he said the only problem is over the years on the internet, there's been a lot of experts that have shared a lot of things. And when, People were sharing stuff as experts. They were sharing wrong information. So now people are less trusting of an expert. So as soon as they see expert, they just turn out the whatever you're saying. So in this case, whenever I was delivering stuff, most people were just listening to it to a certain extent and then uh, tuning it out, especially like on Instagram and so on. There's been a lot of people. And as you know, you guys, you've probably seen some of these guys that are really extremely loud about sexless relationships but when you try and strategize, when you try and implement the strategies that sharing, uh, all of a sudden you find yourself not actually doing anything or in fact, you're making things worse within your relationship. And therefore it makes, it uh, gives people a lot of distrust against, uh, against coaches. Now for me, it wasn't uh, the fact that I was just only showing, as a, showing up as an expert. You then also expose that while you are doing content, um, I can see that you're not really putting yourself out there in terms of the one thing that has been a stumbling block for me was to go onto video. And a lot of it stems back to when I was in my childhood, my parents divorced. We moved over to a different part of the country where they spoke a different language. So it's quite tribal where I'm from. And so I moved to that. So my tribe, where there there were a little bit of conflict, not too much, but it was enough to... To show it, there'll be a divide. So I, I, I'm in this class and the teacher pulls, pulls me up to uh, read to the class. And because I'm dyslexic, I couldn't read. And the teacher went on to mock me. And by the teacher mocking me, it then gave license for every other, for all the kids in the classroom to mock me. And for, for about two years, my life was a living hell just being tortured by these kids because they just thought it was okay to to speak to me however they wanted to. So because of that, I never wanted to put myself out there. There was a legitimate fear. So as soon as I start trying to put myself out in, in social media, that internal critic who start going, the voice who start going higher and higher and then I would listen to it and then escape into fear and then never make that move. So it was. This is why getting a coach is 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 really good. Now I'm not saying this so you can come to me. By all means, I'm the best coach. So if you really want value for your money, you come towards me. But if you choose somebody else, at the very least try and get a coach because if you do, they're most likely going to point out stuff that you are truly fearing because he so he, he could he see he could see my content. He could see that I was trying, but he could see that I had my limitations and. He, went to my limitations that 
the level of fear that I'm experiencing is because of something and I need to combat that fear. Now, I already knew to some extent that there, that was a legitimate fear, but I was justifying it on the other side. So I had this mindset of wanting to justify it and minimize it and, you know, just make it seem like, yeah, I'm trying my best and all that. And really, the truth is, um, this is basically war it's it, well I'm, I'm i mean i'm at war with some of these guys that are out there that are content creators for people with sexless relationships i'm at war with some of these coaches that are teaching rubbish out there and these guys that are speaking the loudest and pulling in all these guys and giving them wrong information they are taking people and taking their money and not giving them any results and i should be prepared to go to war and my my part in this process is to really get over myself get over the fear and really start putting myself out there. So it, it's been one of those things that is, it was an eye opener and extremely challenging in the case that I'm now having to confront my fear. And one of the things that I'd always been thinking about was this mental calibration that you get from 75 hard. As I believe, as I've watched quite a lot of videos around 75 hard over the past few weeks, a lot of people emphasize on the weight loss, but I think it's way more than just the weight loss. And if you don't, for you, those who don't know what 75 Hard is, by the way, uh, <laughs> let me just explain. So it's a program where you have a list of things that you have to do uh, per day. And by doing them for 75 days, it's it helps you to have a internal strength or at least the internal accountability to do stuff that you want to do that you'll be able to do it and silence that internal critic so basically you have to drink a, a gallon of water which is i think four and a half liters in the uk and then you have to read 10 pages of a non-fiction book business or um uh, self-development and then you have to have two uh, 45 minute workouts so one can be indoor and one of the workouts has to be outdoor and then the other bit is uh, you, you you have to stick to a diet doesn't matter what the diet is but there's no cheat meals and no alcohol uh, I'll put it up further as in also no masturbation no porn and so on so it really it it's to really remove stuff that would uh, ignite that dopamine feeling um I can tell you right now, today already, I, I, I started on Monday and I, I failed that one on Monday. Today is Tuesday. I've already failed Tuesday. So I'm resetting again. So the other bit is that whenever you fail, you have to restart again from number one. So even if I go 10 days in and then I fail one of part of the other things, then I have to go back. And the other part as well is to, you have to take progress pictures. So I have to do this every single day. And a lot of people say there's no time. Um, I can't do it, I can't commit to it. Again, that's you now getting into that level of fear. I felt the same. So therefore, by starting to figure out where I can find time, where, when I can do it, uh, it's going to be challenging, but it's, hopefully I can get to day two. So tomorrow I'm going to have another crack at it, at day one, and then try and uh, get to that place where I can do it. And I'm being vulnerable because I think a lot of you guys, you tend to look at somebody who's speaking and then you think oh hey that guy's got it all made uh, i think I'm, I'm it's quite popular that is i'm always sharing to you as much as i can about my own personal life and my own personal challenges to show you that yes i go through some of that and i am now working towards making that a strength and i want to sh take you part i want to take you along this journey as i do so because i think on this 75 hard a lot of people like i said emphasize on the weight loss or the body transformation but it's way more than that it's more about calibration of your mind and you being able to speak and plan and make put goals ahead of you and actually achieve them because you your your internal critic is not as loud or putting you in a place of fear to actually accomplish those goals because everybody's got goals and again a lot of the things that you say you're going to do with your family and your wife she doesn't believe you anymore because fear has stopped you from actually executing and then therefore she's lost trust in things that you, you're saying now i'm not saying she doesn't love you but that actually contributes to a sexless relationship i've been extremely lucky that i understand other things like attraction and seduction and so on but i can tell that 
for many years I've told my wife I was going to free her from uh, stopping to work because she's got fibromyalgia, she hurts sometimes, she struggles to sleep sometimes. And I was like, oh, I would love to free you, I would love to work from home. I've, I've said all these ambitious things, but fear has always stopped me from actually taking and really taking it, uh, taking those the, the, the steps towards making it happen. And she stopped asking and about it and again it's not because she's probably not asking because she doesn't want to hurt me or make it seem like but i can tell that it's one part of my life where she she would, would like to see that improvement so again for me i know that for, for myself that i need that improvement and again she's, she's, there's no pressure she knows we make enough we are so on so she's quite content on that side of things but it would be nice if i can make that step forward and free her from being able to work and for us to actually uh, buy the house that we actually want and do the holidays that we want to do and spend the time that we want to spend with, for me especially for the kids so and again I know that uh, it's really it sounds like I'm making it by myself but I'm just trying to show you uh, by me hopefully being vulnerable it shows you that there there is areas of your life that you're probably blind to that are affecting your relationship and affecting how you are operating at life because I think one of the things Andy said with Rosilla is that uh, if you fail at something or you promise yourself to do something and then you never do it, over a period of time, you will start resenting yourself. And a lot of you guys resent yourself. I felt that resentment and I've got evidence of that resentment uh, by, you know, my belly fat, for example. So as I, in order to cope with the resentment of myself, I would then indulge in food and really destructive behaviours, uh, not you know, exercising, not training. Um, I don't drink, but I would indulge in certain um, self-destructive behaviors, uh, whether it's porn or masturbation, whatever it is, you, you, there's compensation for, for the resentment that you're feeling because of the fear that you've been, been put in yourself because of the internal critic. So that has been something that I'm now working towards in terms of, from a business standpoint. And I find it quite interesting how these last two days have been so much more challenging when I've just decided I'm going to fix this because that internal critic is so, so loud that uh, even when I started this, I was expecting to that it's going to take some time to really silence this internal critic and then uh, continue moving. And I'm being honest with myself by not taking shortcuts with this one. I want to be executing correctly if the moment I, I feel like I'm already failing, I will reset it to the first day and start again. If it takes me 200 days to actually finish the 75 hard, so be it. But I want to complete it with the utmost integrity around it so I can be proud of myself and, more importantly, reset my, my, my discipline, especially on the business area side of things, and then execute to the point where we are actually building a community where we're actually making an effect on the entire world in terms of marriages. The one painful stat is that they say 50% of marriages end in divorce, but the actual number is, if you started looking at it from an unhappy marriages standpoint, uh, there's at least 80 to 90% of people that are unhappy, that are not, again, in fear of actually going through divorce. So therefore, they stay married, but they are absolutely miserable. So we need to change that. And I know that we've got information that is can actually help people to really bring back people to the truth and actually start living a life where it's fulfilling. And again, imagine the, the internal clinic in me is stopping that from actually happening. So it, hopefully this episode is... I don't see it as though it's, I'm just talking about myself, but it's more about really just trying to share with you that there is an internal critic in me as well as just the areas with everyone. And it's more, it would be nice for you guys to start auditing and seeing where is that internal critic for you and how can you overcome this? Like for me, I've taken 75 hard as a challenge, but it could be something else for you guys. And what it could be, it could be a case of you joining our community, for example, Again, that will be a part where we'll be looking at some of those things that are stopping you from 
being effective within your relationship or in your in your life and seeing that internal critic and really trying to shut that down so thank you very much guys if you want any more information around joining the community go to our instagram thriving underscore tribesmen and i'll be able to give you further information thank you very much and i'll be seeing you soon take care